Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Today. I'm Spencer, and if you have no idea what this is, I'm an industrial designer. I've been doing this for about 10 years, and I just love drawing. So I wanted to share a little bit of what I know, and so I set up this YouTube channel. That being said, if this is your first time, and even if it's not, be sure to make be sure to hit that subscribe button. I mean, turn on alerts and come say hi on Instagram at sketchaday.com. Sign up for my newsletter. I'll put all those social links below so you can come say hi, as well as there are links to materials I use, and that's a great way to support the channel. So today I'm gonna to be drawing a few backpacks um, focusing on soft goods, and we'll be using felt pen and tracing paper. So if you don't have any of those things, that's okay. You can always use the links below, like I mentioned, or just grab whatever you have. So with that, let's get started. So for this drawing, um, I'm just gonna do two on the page. And one of the things I like to do when starting a backpack and I'll show you two different ways here. One is to kind of use something like a bean and the other is a box, okay? And we'll use both of these shapes to then sketch our backpack. Now, I did have a question online today in my DMs on Instagram, I forgot who, my apologies, but it was about contour lines. And so this actually presents a good opportunity to talk about contour lines a little bit. So contour lines are a quick way to establish some shape or form if you're sketching something really quickly. So for example, like this bag, we can add a cutout here on the front and by offsetting this line, like so, have now introduced something like a pocket. We can modify this contour line, bring that down like that. And now we have, a pocket on our back. Add another line, offset, and now I have a zipper, okay? And for the straps, I like to think of them kind of like these ellipses that are slightly squished. So as I'm doing this, and we can modify here as we go, you can see I now have some straps on this bag on the back. And for our flap, I'm going to do just a simple flap on the top that perhaps keeps the bag closed. And let's have this be some hardware. I don't have to sketch all the details because we're just capturing a quick idea. But you can see how using that bean shape allowed me to kind of quickly establish um, a rough shape for the bag. And then just over this, we can add some details, refine our outline, and we have a simple concept. Maybe there's a side axis zipper here as well, and some sort of patch for a logo of some sort. Okay. So that's our first concept and the first way I like to kind of do this. A little shadow here just so we can show that this strap is on the other side. So the other one, like I said, is this box method. And so taking this box, I can immediately round some edges and then modify my outline like so. So now I have a pocket or pouch on the front. And if I want to add, say, some more on the sides, I can do that too. So let's say this has some additional pouches on the side. You can just add those shapes in. A little bit more rigid and structured, but gets the idea across. And maybe we can extend the bottom just a little bit here as well just like so. And for our main zipper, let's say the whole front zips open. I'm just gonna sketch in a double line here, which now becomes a template or a spot rather that I can use for my zipper. Like so, can divide on the front for a pouch. And let's go ahead and just add some hatching for the bottom of the bag. Okay, so immediately we have some texture. We can also do that on, on this other bag. Um, 
and throw on some quick marker as well just to complete the sketch page. Now, when I do use this box method, as I'm doing the perimeter, I'll, I'll try and intentionally uh, add some deviations to my lines because that's going to help with um, making this feel more like a soft product and not like an actual hard product. Sorry, my coffee is uh, messing with me here. Okay. And I don't mean that in a weird way. All right, so now we have our two side pouches. We have our front. Same thing if we wanted to have a spot for some sort of logo. And then the straps, like I mentioned on our other sketch, I like to just add simple shape like this. As the design were to progress in the development process, we probably would refine the concept a bit more um, and not just, you know, have some generic strap. But for capturing the idea, this is a great way to just quickly move through the process of sketching. Okay, so we have two methods there. And then if we just want things to pop a little bit, because I'm using tracing paper, I can use the front and the back. We'll start with this guy here. And if I'm strategic in where and how I apply this, I can quickly get a nice look for this backpack. Like so, let's add some gray for the straps. And we just need to be careful because tracing paper is a little bit different than regular paper you might be accustomed to using if you're using your markers. So just be aware of that. Um, it is a little bit different, so watch out for that. And on this one, I'm gonna color in the zippers. Try not to overdo it. And the reason for that is to have some variety on the page. Even the application of the marker, I'm just keeping fairly loose and fresh. By loose and fresh, I mean not trying to overwhelm things on the page, okay? So that's something that just comes with experience and that you'll learn over time. But we'll let this dry. Just a sec. Okay, now when you flip it over, it kind of has this interesting look. So on the side pouch, if I want to add some texture, I can add some cross hatching with, with the marker, maybe a little stippling here and there, some shadowing where we need it. And like I said, because you're working on both sides of the tracing paper, you can actually use just the one marker. I guess I'm kind of on a tracing paper kick right now, um, but you can use just the one marker and uh, you can get a wider range of values as you're sketching. Now, as far as color goes, um, whichever product has the color on the page, that's the one that's going to get more attention. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of red to this rounder bag here. Just like so. And if your markers are bleeding with your pen, you're probably not using um, the right pen, meaning some pens are going to bleed with these markers and some won't. So um, some of that comes through experimentation and just figuring out, work, figuring out what works for you, sorry. Um, but paper made flares for me seem to work. So if you're interested in those, um, definitely peep the materials in the video description, and that's gonna help uh, help you get a, a marker and pen combination that play nicely together. Okay, so I'm just using this brush pen to add a little bit of line weight to these sketches, and then we can also use it to kind of connect the concepts, if you will, just with the nice background element that's filled in here. But it'll also help, 
help these objects be a bit more grounded on the page. Just like that. And as always, sign your work, date it. Because if you don't track, you don't know. And if you don't know, you can't grow. It's always a good thing to look back at your sketches and see how far you've come. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. So there's our finished um, sketch. And we use contour lines, felt pen, marker to just quickly represent these concepts. Hopefully you've got some great or beneficial rather from this. And I truly do appreciate the support. So if you like this video, definitely share it. Um, with your classmates, friends, whoever whoever you're with, um, appreciate appreciate the support. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button, turn on alerts, and definitely come say hi um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. All those links are in the description. Well, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Sketch a Day.